Haleakala National Park on the island of Maui is one of the most stunning places in all of Hawaii. Not only is this the location of the massive Haleakala volcano, it's still one of the few places where you can find Hawaii's state bird, the Nene. There's a lot of ways to explore Haleakala National Park. Some people take the long and windy road to Hana, which we talked about in our video from last week. To check out the backside of Haleakala National Park, where you can find the seven sacred falls in the magical bamboo forest. The more popular side of the park is accessed via another long and winding road that takes you up to the Haleakala Summit and the Haleakala Crater Hike. And that is what we're exploring today. Getting up to the Haleakala Summit means driving up onto the mountain and braving sharp switchbacks. Unlike the drive to the summit of Mauna Kea volcano on the Big Island, the road to Haleakala is beautifully paved the entire way. But don't be surprised if you're moving in and out of clouds along the way. Sometimes the clouds were so thick we could barely see the hood of our car. The weather on Haleakala Volcano changes quickly though, so one minute you could be deep in the clouds, and the next moment you're staring at blue skies. If the weather is too crazy, make a stop at the park headquarters about halfway up. You can get some information in park maps and chat with one of the park rangers, or in our case, grab one of the adorable Name Name stuffies as a souvenir. Once you get to the Haleakala Summit, the chances are good that you'll be far above the clouds, and the views up here are spectacular. Crater here at uh, Haleakala National Park in on the island of Maui. It is a very different atmosphere up here than it was on our road to Hana the other day. It is cold and it's windy and it's breezy, but it looks pretty incredible, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. Mama, can you guys show everyone what the inside of the crater looks like? Yeah. Near the summit, you'll find the Haleakala National Park Visitor Center. This is a must stop for those visiting the park. There are always rangers on hand to help answer questions, give tips on hiking the crater, or share some information on the amazing array of massive observatories that dot the Haleakala summit. Some of these observatories are among the Earth's most important tools for mapping out the universe. And before you ask, no, they are not usually open to tours. There is some really big science happening in these buildings. See uh, the big telescope behind me on my left shoulder? It could draw something the size of a basketball 20 
thousand miles away from space. Wow. wow. <laughs> and if you're exploring Haleakala with kids, don't forget to take part in the National Park's Junior Ranger Program. Learn about native species near my home and help protect them. Learn about native species around my home and help to protect them. All right, so you just get a badge. Wow, guys. And these badges are completely unique to this park. So if you ever go to any other national parks, they will have a different badge for you to collect. If you've got the energy and the altitude hasn't knocked the wind out of you, the Haleakala Summit is a great place to experience the Haleakala Crater Hike. The Haleakala Crater Trail is an 11.2 mile point to point trail that takes off from the visitor center through the volcano's crater. Along the way, you'll see spectacular red coloring and the gorgeous craters that make this one of the coolest hikes on Maui. We ended our day with one of the most beautiful sunsets that we have ever experienced at Kula Lodge, a gorgeous hotel at the base to the entrance of Haleakala National Park. I can't think of a better way to have ended our day. <laughs>